Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about free to play games. Why? Because I was reading this article on Kotaku about Genshin Impact, and the game made over $1 billion in six months. Yeah, that's right. And this is a free to play game. See, here's the thing I believe the free to play game in general tend to have the potential, if done right, of course, to make more money, like a good amount more, than the $60 triple A games. Now, why is that? I mean, the $60 AAA games can get more advertising. They can make the game probably a better quality, depending on what type of game it is. And in some cases, they're a very well-known franchise, so a lot of people already want to buy them. Well, the reason why I think it is, is because one, with free to play, because it's free to play, it gets you in there, it gets you sunk in. I've noticed with at least like, I, like I played this um, free to play Facebook game, and it wasn't until I already got kind of into the game, that's when it started to feel like, oh, I'm being limited a bit by not paying real money. Like it doesn't even start to semi become a grind, I believe, until a certain point in these free to play games. And that's when they're like, okay, if you spend money now, you can get this faster, or maybe you can get this character or whatnot, right? And I think that's what they do. They sink you in first. First, you're in really enjoying playing the game. And then when you've gotten to a point, I think, where you've really enjoying playing this game, all of a sudden they're like, now you're either going to have to kind of grind or you're going to have to pay some money to get where you want to in a much faster time or something like that. I mean, if at the very beginning of the game, they basically did ways for you to feel like you had to spend money. I don't think a lot of people would continue because they're not kind of like hooked into the game yet. So I think they really wait until you're ready at a point in the game before they start to say, okay, spend some real money here uh, so you can get there faster, you can get more characters, you can get more items or whatnot, right? So that's the number one way I think they really hook people into spending money. They allow you to kind of enjoy the game for like, I want to say even sometimes like a couple or even a few hours where you're ready kind of into this game. And then sometimes you reach the point where it seems like if you don't pay, you have to grind a lot more to get where you go. The second reason that I really think free-to-play games have the potential of making more money than like even AAA games is because all the developers behind it really have to do is keep it updated. Genshin Impact actually, according to Kotaku, on December 1st, it almost tripled the amount of money that the game averages on a day. On average, Genshin Impact made around 5.8 million a day, but when they added apparently the mysterious Zongli to the game on December 1st, they made around 15.5 million that day. So yeah, adding new characters, adding new stuff, really I think prolongs the life of these free-to-play games. More so than like DLC, unless it's a really big DLC for like AAA or even just other games. The number three reason why I really think that free-to-play games ain't going nowhere anytime soon and why they have the potential of making more money than these like AAA games is because they take it little by little. Or microtransactions, kind of like people like to say. In general, I believe that free-to-play games, they, they don't tend to be like, just spend 30 bucks. Sometimes they'll be like, hey, buy this whole pack for 30 bucks, right? But in general, a lot of times you can just spend five bucks at a time. I think that's like the number usually five bucks at a time and you don't understand unless you're keeping track of those five bucks every single time you spend it you can end up spending so much more money little by little than you could if they simply said 50 bucks for the whole set like by the time you get to the point where you have unlocked you could have already spent hundreds of dollars and in some cases even thousands of dollars on these free-to-play games i believe little by little and that's the thing we don't feel it if it's little by little. Even just like with payment plans and stuff like that, sometimes you just don't feel it if it's little by little as opposed to if you were like, I gotta spend $500 one time. So that's why I think free to play games really ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Free to play games, the successful ones, they make money over the long term or in Genshin Impact's case, over six months, over a billion dollars. Anyway, what do you guys think about free to play games? Do you guys think that they ain't going nowhere anytime soon? Or do you guys think that they're just a passing trend and they may have lasted a while now but for the most part they're gonna be gone soon thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe and may god bless you all